King's Indian defense, 3.G3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. The light-squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. Games Master. It is the final book action. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. By elevating it to the 7th rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. By elevating it to the 7th rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. A powerful play. 
it is quite good. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Recaptures. Black is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. This prevents the adversary from building a passed pawn. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.